Okay, here is my second video, this time on service chaining. Uh, I will demonstrate here how we can uh, provision via heat templates uh, two networks, and those two networks will, will be connected through VSRX firewall. So this is called actually a service chaining. And in our example, we have two compute nodes, compute one and compute two. Uh, I'm gonna uh, spawn two VMs, VM left and VM right. And then through policy, I am going to force uh, traffic to uh, go through VSRX and VSRX will live on, on compute node two. So VM left and VM right will be on compute one and VSRX will live on compute two. And through the policy means of Contrail, we are going to force traffic to use, uh, to, to go through v VSRX. Uh, logical rep representation of this is left net, right net, VSRX in between. And also we have a management network uh, because when we, when we, when we launch VSRX. VSRX usually have two interfaces for uh, for uh, like revenue interfaces for real traffic and then management net like FXP0. So uh, I'm going to launch this in 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 my uh, in my project. So I already have a net where I have a few virtual machines. So now I'm going to create those three networks uh, for for VSRX. Um, I have already some heat template prepared. These are YAML files uh, of different variables and uh, everything that is needed actually to automate the whole process of creating this this uh, uh, structure, the service chaining structure. So first we are going to create three networks. Okay, create in prog progress. Okay. Creation is complete, and let's see what, what happened here. Let me refresh. Okay, the three networks appeared. So we have left network, right network, and management network. So the second step is uh, let's add virtual machine left to this stack. Okay, takes a bit of time. And it's done. So let's check here, refresh this page. So here is our uh, VM left. So I'm going to add now VM right. Okay, I check the status, and it's done. So refresh the page. So we have two VMs: VM left and VM right. Uh, now I'm going to add a template for VSRX in this template I'm describing all the interfaces and variables and everything that uh, via VSRX will 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 use so this is just a template so this should be super quick and that's done and the last step actually is to bring uh, up the the uh, the VSRX instance basically this is the the longest step. So the chain now will be a complete. So let's see 
what happens okay here it is so VSRX uh, is being built at the moment so we have we can see three interfaces a management FXP0 interface left network and right network so it takes a bit of time for this thing to come up let's log on to the console okay it's booting up while we wait for this thing to boot up it takes like a minute or two uh, I'm gonna log on also to to the VMs okay so it's So the left one have received uh, address from the left network, which is 555 and it's 10. Let's see how it goes basically with uh, Okay, the VSRX instance is still booting. Takes a bit of time. It's a big image actually, three gig or something. So just want to align these two screens actually they one next one to another so to become clear actually what I'm doing And let me actually open the right VM as well so that we have all three console windows opened. So let me see, see this is okay. And this is VSRX. So the image is already pre-configured. Um, so this image is prepared to support left in right network when it comes to root routing and security policies and everything. So. Okay, the other VM 
has its IP address from the from the from the right network. So let me log in to VSRX. CLI and this is just very simple configuration just to demonstrate that the packets are flowing actually through through this VSRX. So show route. So here we see actually that the interface uh, one side of the VSRX in it's in the left network, the other it's in the right network. Uh, also we have FXP0 that is from the 10 network, that's management. And now if I ping ping 6.6.6.10 .6 .6 .10, and check on VSRX show security flow session. And here, and here we can see actually that, uh, that the traffic is really flowing through, through the VSRX. So, There it is, 555.10 to 666.10. So it's ICMP traffic. And we have accomplished this goal again of, let's see what we have done. Uh, so again, VM left, VM right, VSRX, and the pings, the traffic is going through the VSRX instance. So we can see clear, this clear, clearly demonstrated here. So this is the end of, of this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.